Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is Sass Master. Today we're going to check out Boost.Link, which is a pretty cool link shortener, but it has a twist to it. It's not just a link shortener where you just shorten your link and boom, you're over. No, it actually lets you create landing pages and it also makes you capture emails by making them sign into their social accounts. What's so cool about this? Well, if you capture their email when they log into their social account, that means you capture a real email and a real e uh, name. Instead of them typing manually their email or typing wrong their email, well, no, this way they use their social media with the correct email. And we're going to see that really quick right here because this is an overview. Okay, so first thing, this is our dashboard right here, and we can create a link right here. If we want, we can also use a custom domain if we want to. If not, we can use the default domain. So right now, I'm going to do this link for testing. We can also customize the meta title, description, and image, which not all link shorteners let you do this. But in this case, I won't be doing that right now. And we can apply a campaign to this. So I already created a campaign, which I'm also going to show you right now. And it makes you log into the uh, Facebook, which I already used. And let's use this create boost link. And here we go. It's created it. You can see that also over here, which is this one right here. Since I selected the test campaign, it lets you log into Facebook so they can capture, we can capture their email and they go to our link. So it's pretty cool. Let's head on over to campaigns. This is actually where I created. But if we want to add more social media accounts, we do this over here and set up custom social apps and we can add them one by one, depending what we need. But we have to get the credentials. We got to do the whole process of adding the uh, social media so they can log in with that. So if I, I ask Facebook, I need the app ID and secret. If I go to Twitter, same thing, Google also. And we just need to set this up one time so it's ready. All right. And the pretty cool thing about this is the landing pages. You're going to be surprised what you can create, what you can create with landing pages. So let's create a brand new one. Let's put this one with test three and we can do a custom title and, and data, which you should do for the purposes of SEO. And let's just go to build our landing page. And over here on the left, top left, you can see we have landing page templates, which is pretty cool. So for example, by default, it gives you this, like a opt-in, which is not that really cool, but we can do this, change it. So I selected stylish portfolio, and it gives you what the landing page is gonna look like. Looks okay, not my style, but looks okay. But it, you can see it's pretty complete. We can customize all this, social media icons, text, images, and we can just start typing and changing everything over here on the right. You can see we got all this information. But the one I like is Nova. Nova looks pretty cool, looks pretty modern for, for my look. It just depends on the people, right? What you wanna use. So you can see that right there. It looks pretty awesome, pretty modern. And we can change all these images, information, custom links. And let's just say, you know what? I like Nova, just like it is. We'll just change it. Like I said, this is for testing purposes. We are going to add, and we said it was this one. So this is the link it gives us. Actually, this would be pretty cool when I add my custom domain, it's gonna look even better. So let's go click to preview, open it, and there you go. You got your own landing page super quick and easy. You can just create multiple landing pages for whatever you want. If you wanna sell an app, if you wanna sell your service, is it about just anything you want? And you can do it really quick and have a custom uh, landing page for each service that you do and a custom link, super easy, like I said. And we can also add our pixels over here, pixel and tracking codes. Our pixel and tracking codes are for remarketing. If you guys don't know what pixel is, I recommend that you uh, do some searching on it because pixels are awesome. Remember those, if you ever done uh, like searching on, on the web and you go to like Home Depot and you check out for a chair and then you log into Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and you start finding these type of ads. Yeah, that's a pixel that's, that's targeting you that's remarketing. So check out pixels and you can add them right here. So when I create a link, if I want to over here, close, create a link. And I'm gonna show you right now where we can add the pixel. Test that again, set a campaign. Let's wait for that, create link. So if we select one of these links, we go to edit Earl. There you go, and you can add it at tracking code pixel right here, and you can select the one that you want. So for example, you have multiple pixels for different type of products or different companies, you can just add the customize, customize you want. Also, you can integrate services like MailChimp, 
you got Zapier, Get Response, Active Campaign, Aweber, Mailchimp, Send Lane, Platformy. So practically, Boost.link is a pretty complete link shortener for this type of uh, of service. You can get landing pages and send them to uh, register with their social media. And I'm gonna just do a quick because I didn't show you this is how they're gonna ask for your social media. Okay, let's grab one of these links. You can see it has Facebook right here. We're gonna copy this link. We are going to go into incognito. We're gonna go right there. Gonna test it out. Sure, you can see it's asking for me to log into my Facebook account. Practically everyone's already logged into their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and it's just gonna ask them if they wanna accept, and it takes them to the link. So that's a quick example. Right now it's asking because I'm actually in an incognito tab. Let's close it. But if it didn't, it would just go and say, yes, I want to opt in and it'll go to the link. So it's pretty easy to use and easy to like just add your own custom domain. Here in setup, we got the custom domains if you want to add them. I'm gonna close this and add a new domain. So here in added new domain, it's you can add the information here and the tutorial is going to be over here. Super easy to use, super easy to try out. If you guys want to check out boost.link, the link is going to be in the description just in case you guys want to check it out and start your own link shortening. All right, guys, my name is George. This is Sass Master. See you later.